The crypto winter may be upon us, but that hasn't iced the red-hot market for crypto jobs. The big banks are actively searching for talent as they expand into crypto, and media businesses are looking for credible humans to write about all this crypto stuff. Let's chat more about the crypto job shortage with Neil Dundon, who is the founder of Crypto Recruit. Neil, good to, uh, good to see you here. So how severe is this, this job shortage? Oh, uh, it's uh, it's pretty severe at the moment. We've uh, last two three months specifically, we've had about uh, what hundreds of jobs rang in from multiple companies across the space. So we're actually inundated at the moment. Our heads are spinning at the moment, trying to find uh, these staff. So it's a massive supply shortage at the moment. It's a simple supply and demand issue. Uh, we have a whole team based globally. Uh, these these companies will pretty much hire anywhere in the world, and we're still struggling to, to find these people. So in one way, it's a good problem for us. In another way, it's, uh, it's, a, it's, it's not so good. So, yeah. Uh, so, Neil, let's break it down a couple different ways. Um, let's start yeah. with the technical side of the equation. What are the technical skills that you guys find are the best fit for when you're working with the client? You know, what did they want and, and how readily available yeah. are some of those folks with the technical skills on on the crypto side? Well, cryptos are, are just other software projects. So uh, basically what they're looking for, probably 60, 70 percent of their jobs are in software development. So you've got your front end, your back end, your blockchain developers, uh, we're a huge spike in Ethereum based developers. So we see some different blockchains like Polkadot or Kusama that are built, um, smart chain uh, blockchains. They're looking for people, but really all the demand is across the Ethereum. So we're looking for Solidity developers, specifically a huge amount of incoming requests for Solidity. Um, the rest of the jobs are you know, um, across other areas, uh, marketing and products, but yes, predominantly in, in, in tech. So yeah, yeah. Neil, what, what are some of these yeah. jobs pay? Mm -hmm. Uh, well, good question. Um, is how long is a how long is a piece of string, really? Uh, you know, we're not recruiting anything less than a hundred grand. But typically, uh, even even a year ago, you might find that some of these uh, Solidity developers would have been looking for, say, for example, a hundred grand. Right now, uh, they're probably looking for anything from one hundred and eighty to two hundred grand. So, you know, uh, if if you want to make some money as a developer, you know, learn how to code Solidity. Uh, we're talking anything from 150 to 250 for good quality smart contract uh, developers at the moment. Yeah. And and then, you know, yeah. two parts to this one, Neil. I mean, what yeah. is the are, are these folks coming from, you know, your traditional kind of um, you, know, you graduate you know, good software developer so on and so forth. You go to Google, you go to Facebook, yep. you go to these big names that we know are are folks coming from those companies and then also um, what's yeah. the appetite from the uh, people you're working with to bring into companies to take a chunk of their pay in Ether, in Bitcoin, yeah, and other yeah, things yeah. like that, or do people still like fiat? Yeah, so crypto is still on the sidelines. It's not fully normalized yet. So, you know, you need to take a bit, bit of risk to come into this space. And I think you're finding, what we're hearing stories of developers who are moving over to projects. They may take a slight hit on their base salary, but they'll take a good portion of that with, in tokens. Uh, you hear stories of people turning into millionaires within weeks of joining companies because these companies will then launch their token on the market and then it'll go up 10x, 20x. And the developers who've come on to the, into those businesses are all of a sudden earning 20x their, their salary. So, I mean, the, the stories are crazy. So, you know, if, you, if you're a little um, risk adverse, this is probably not the industry for you. But if you want to make, make some money and take some risks, uh, it's an exciting place to be for sure. Yeah. But Neil, why do you think the market hasn't cooled down now that we are, in fact, in a crypto winter? Um, well, since 2017, uh, the market was quite different. Uh, there was a lot of opportunists out there, as we know, and I think it's well documented. There were a lot of scams out there. There still are scams at the moment, but I think the building blocks and the fundamentals of crypto are a lot different now than they were three years ago. Um, these are just software pro projects. It's just another element of the economy. Um, I think there's a lot more uh, belief in blockchain going forward, um, and it's going to be interesting to see how it how it plays out. But it's just another sector of the economy, and it's uh, performing well. And I think we've hit, you know, it feels like we've hit a floor in terms of price or close to a floor. Don't 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 uh, quote me on that. Um, but certainly from a, a jobs perspective, it feels like we've we've uh, you know we can only build from here. 
And then, Neil, I'll finish with a, um, an yeah. industry, uh, a, a nerdy question for you, a selfish question, uh, yeah. if you will. Yeah. Um, the media yeah. space, the crypto media space has certainly changed a lot um, and is changing a lot. Um, are you working with firms on that side? What kind of dynamics are you seeing there? We hear things through the grapevine on how competitive that can be. Are you um, focused on that at all or, or, or where are you keeping your attention? Well, we 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 don't. We know there's a lot of right, uh, you know, stuff going on in the media space in crypto. No, we're we're. If I'm honest, we're purely focused on building blockchains and smart contract platforms. But uh, but uh, I hear what you're saying. Yes, there's there's a lot going on in, in the media space. It's not an area though that we're we're too focused on. If I'm honest, that's a uh, hey, that's hey, smart hey, of you hey, to stay in a in <laughs> growth area, Neil. Stay in the yeah, growth yeah, area. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, that's it. Neil, if you're looking for contributors, I got yeah. people on Twitter that could write 15 reasons to buy Bitcoin. You just let me know. Oh, you said send them on over. Yeah. <laughs> Happy to talk to them. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sure. I'm sure. All right. We'll leave it there. Yeah. Yeah. Neil Dundon, yeah. the founder of yeah. Crypto Recruit. Good to see you. Have a great week.